In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure SCCM settings and components. Once Config Manager 2012 R2 is installed and running, there are still some preliminary things you might want to configure in the Configuration Manager console. Here I've started the Configuration Manager console tool, and in the bottom left I've selected Administration. In the upper left, I've selected Client Settings, and on the right I see the default client settings that apply to every managed computer in this site. We can build additional client settings and target them to specific device collections. But here, I'm going to double-click on the default client settings that apply to every machine in the site. Here in the Default Settings dialog box, I can configure the behavior of the Config Manager client on client stations that are managed. In the left-hand navigator, I can choose Computer Agent. Here I can specify timing options related to software and update deployments and also operating system deployments for existing clients. So I can specify the deployment deadline values. As I scroll further down, I could also specify information related to the application catalog website where users can select software they would like to install. I can also specify options related to suspending the BitLocker pin when the machine needs to be restarted on a deployment. I can also specify the PowerShell execution policy that determines whether scripts are allowed to run. And I can also specify whether notifications for new deployments show up on the client system. Once these settings are made, it may take over an hour before clients realize these changes because by default, Config Manager clients connect to the management point once every hour to retrieve policy settings. Here I'm going to expand in the left-hand navigation panel, Site Configuration, and then I'll click Sites. I'm going to select my site, and in the ribbon bar at the top, what I'm looking at doing is configuring site components. So I'll click the Configure Site Components button, and I'll choose Software Distribution. What I'm going after here is the network access account configuration. The network access account, which is under the network access account tab, defines the permissions that are used when clients connect to a distribution point to pull down content, for example, during operating system deployment or software deployment. The default is to use the computer account of the configuration manager client station, and that works fine as long as that station is in a trusted domain. However, for workgroup computers, I might want to specify other accounts that can be used by clicking the New Account button. Here I would specify the appropriate credentials so that machines that are not in an Active Directory domain would have sufficient permissions to pull content from a distribution point. In this video, we talked about configuring SCCM settings and components.